For many children, time at a local camp is an annual summer tradition. While most camps are based around sports, producer Dave Fraser and Devin Whitney Deal of CESA, community involved in sustaining agriculture, show us there are farm and agriculture-based alternatives to the usual summer camp experience for our kids, and they're right here in our own backyard. Summertime is not far away, and now's the time to be thinking what to do with your children when they're on summer break. Around here, we have many farms that are actually offering farm camps. All right, you ready? Oftentimes, we think about sending kids to sports club or YMCA, but around here in the Pioneer Valley, we're so lucky to have so many farms that offer farm camp as an option. The kids get to have the experience of getting close to nature, learning about animals, and just having an all-around outdoor experience. Redgate Farm has always been an educational farm, and we've been here for 15 years offering all kinds of programs, both uh, workshops for adults and lots of kids' programs, school groups, field trips, overnight programs for schools, as well as summer camps during the summer and vacation camps like today. And they start the day off with chores, and that's the same thing that we do, and that's, that's one of our whole parts of the program, is that these kids are taking care of the farm the same way that we do on the farm. So they feed the animals, um, and right now they're working in the barn doing an ultrasound with sheep, uh, and they're checking our ewes to see which ones are pregnant and if they have singles or doubles. Um, and so we're really excited to know that we have a bunch of twins coming on the way. Really, we're just trying to get them on a farm and experiencing a farm, um, and all the great things that go along with that. And those are things like taking care of animals, um, responsibility, there's a certain degree of independence that we give these kids, decision making. Um, they're also collaborating a lot on different challenges and problems. Um, and they just, they learn to really find themselves uh, a centered place where they can really become strong and independent and hardworking. And that's one of the things that we love about the, the results of kids that come to camp here. Our second stop today is at Little Brook Farm in Sunderland, Mass, operated by Kristen Whittle. It is a working farm, and the kids have the opportunity to see exactly what her days look like when she's here working on the farm. I love doing the camps for a couple of reasons. One, I love teaching, and I love kids. I, I work with elementary age kids all the time. And they're so excited, and you get to tell them everything that's happening and teach them about it. So that's part of it. I mean, it's, it, it gives something to me as well. And the other thing that I think is really important is I think a lot of kids think that their food comes from a grocery store. That's a small segment of the, of the consumer population growing up that will have a better understanding and a better appreciation that we have a lot of choices out, out there, whether to get our food locally or to purchase food that's you know, produced in a, in a factory farm. And we talk a lot about that. As an elementary school nurse, I've seen a lot of kids that don't really know how to live outside in New England and that we take care of animals no matter what the, the temperatures or the weather is. I think that's important for them to know. Um, but we talk about layering and how to dress and how to be warm and how to, you know, moving around. And, you know, I've found that to be really helpful, too, so that kids, you know, can enjoy where they live. You see kids that have really become a cohesive family. Um, they've, they've got a lot more best friends than they ever had before, uh, as well as the fact that they all feel really sort of like this is their farm, and, and there's a real sense of ownership. It's really fun to see them taking their parents around, showing them all the things that they've done, all the things that they do, and they come back. And that's one of the things that we love, is seeing these kids come back and visit um, and point out the things that they've done and have a real sense of pride of their experience, and, and they take that with them wherever they go in life. I can point to any number of projects around here on the farm that are the results of kids putting in effort and hard work and making something that's still standing today and that we still use today. And that's one of the critical parts of what we do on the farm, getting kids engaged in a very meaningful, hands-on way.